The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Oh, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today, we're going to talk about the St. Louis Kingpin legend, man. Cuffy, pretty much, man, called from the, uh, to the feds, man. And he pretty much broke down how, uh, you know, Big Meech told on him. But here you go right here. They have an action to grind, you feel me? Right. But I'm in here with a 27-year sentence based on Demetrius Flannery. As you all know, it's Big Meech uh, uh, and Tammy Cowens, known in the paperwork as CS1. Right. Confidential Source 1. So what Big Meech did was call a third-party cooperation. So Tammy Cowens signed up to be a DEA informant to give Demetrius Flannery a time cut, plain and simple. Uh, we were we were rewarded what's called a Frank hearing. It's based on a case called U.S. versus Frank. So I would implore your listeners to look the case up. And what that what what what, what a Frank Cern entails is that you're able to cross examine um, um, your accusers, meaning government agents, meaning informants, and so on and so forth, just like a regular trial. So this was testified in court. Testified in court that I became a government informant to give Demetrius Flannery a time cut. That's what was said on the stand, bro. The lady became a government informant to give Demetrius Flannery a time cut. But I think people... But I th in this particular case. So Meech never received the time cut because unbeknownst to a lot of people, um, it's against the law to have a sexual relationship or any personal relationship with a government informant. As y'all clearly just heard, you know, um, he broke it down how Meech pretty much used a third-party person to set him up uh, with the federal government. The only thing that is a little bit shaky about this, they allege, he alleged that me set this up, but the reason that it didn't go through, you know, was because um, allegedly the third party person was having a relation with somebody, I guess, that was on the case. So if, his time didn't get cut because the female uh, made a mistake and did something with the, the guy that was on the case. Do that really make me to snitch? I mean, because they keep saying that he got he got his time cut because he used this third party person. But clearly y'all heard him just say that he wasn't able to get his time cut because the lady messed it up. So it's like they saying me to snitch. Cause his time got cut, but his time didn't get cut. So, what's going on? At the end of the day, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Big Meech and fed so many people and it did so much stuff for so many people and, and and is a legend in so many eyes. This gonna really blow over people's heads. But that's part of the streets, you know. People pick and choose who they want to point the finger at as being snitches and rats. You know, if this was six nine. Or, or something like that, you know, this dude, he'll be, he'll be getting bashed right now. But when it comes to certain people, I feel like nowadays, people pick and choose who they want to call a snitch and call a rat, you know. I'm not here to call me a snitch or rat or whatever the case may be, you know. It, it's up for the viewers to decide whatever you want to believe, you know. But what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong, you know. That's why the streets is watered down, man, because here it is. You will have somebody that's liked by a lot of people and they'll overlook things. And a person that's not liked by anything will get banned from the hood. You know, probably if something happened to all of that. The streets is not the same no more. The rules don't apply to everybody no more. You know, would it make a person think that Meech is different from anybody else? I couldn't do 30 years. You couldn't do 30 years. What make me different? Y'all hold people on this high standard like, oh, man, ain't nobody going to tell. Oh, I'm going to do 30, 40 years. Man, cut it out. Some of the biggest gangsters in the world, man, went in that courtroom and told or slick gave some information. That's just how it go. You know what I'm saying? Look at Terrence Gangster Williams. One of the, was one of the part of the biggest, biggest crews in New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? Rumored to have or uh, being involved in over 40 hats. You see, that man didn't want to, they, and listen, 
Stop trying to hold people above the standard to think that they wouldn't tell when it come to happen to do 30, 40 years. You know, anybody a break and tell, you know, that's just people nature. You know, people, when you sitting in there and you got to think about you're going to spend the rest of your life in prison to be keep it real or keep your name alive or you're going to go start doing your time and try to work and cut a deal, you know? So I don't look at Mish no different if he did tell or if he didn't tell. Because when none of us in that courtroom, with none of us in that interrogation room, did none of us sign a plea to go do 30 years. So we can call that man a snitch or, or, or we can look at him like an icon, however it go, but walk him on, Big Meech. You know, you did what you did, man. Hey, hey man, let, let the past be the past and let your future be your future, man. You got a chance to, to, to finally have a relationship with your son. That's what you should be mainly focusing on. Don't worry about the streets. You ain't in the streets no more. You ain't financing no packages. You ain't putting people on. You ain't going state to state setting up shop no more. So what you care about with the streets feel? And that's just my honest opinion. We got to stop letting the streets control our mindset, man. Whatever you did in the past, that's the past, man. What you did yesterday is yesterday. You can always start today forward, you know? But stay out them streets, kids, man, because it ain't equal, man. I'm trying to tell you. But it's your boy D's Media signing out, man. But... Cuffy from St. Louis, man, an OG, man, you know, he pretty much exposed Meech, man, you know, for being a snitch, and he, one of the reasons that he got 27 years, but also what he ain't talking about is, you know, he got charged with a B2, you know, so the 27 years went just for the work, went for the work, you know, it was also because he caught a B2, you know, his charges was the work and having a B, you know, um, and running a criminal organ, uh, criminal, uh, criminal organization, however it goes, you know, so it wasn't just, just the work to, uh, to give people a little insight, but if y'all go do y'all homework, just go look his name up, man, and it's going to have his full case, and y'all can break it down and dissect it however y'all feel, but it's your boy D's Media, Peace Positivity Network Growth, man, let's save these kids, it ain't never too late, man, I love y'all, appreciate y'all for tapping in. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media, you feel me? <laughs>